fit and we'll be installing in this 2014 Lexus ES350. We're gonna be replacing the high beam and low beams. So the, for the low beams, we're gonna be using the, H8, the H11's LS series. So that's what you got inside the box. And then we're also for the high beams, we're gonna be using the 9005 LS series. And then if you're wondering how do you know, you can usually check the box and it'll tell you in the back which series you got. All right. So. All right. So what you want to do is go for your low beam now, which is the one with the green tab as you can see right there. So you're going to turn it to your left. It'll pop out. And then once you're here, you're going to want to pull in here. You can see the, the little tab right here. You want to tap right in the end of it at the very edge and it comes out. So put that to the side and we'll be installing the low beams now which are the H11 LS series and on these I want to mention that since these are our strongest ones and it comes with the ballast it doesn't matter which position you actually connect it to even though it has a positive and negative uh, imprint on it so you can tell which ones they are but on these it doesn't matter which way it goes it'll work either way so get your cable pop it in and install also when installing these make sure you grab it from the fins and not from where the fan casing is all right there you go so now we're going to do our high beam these are the 9005 all right so ls series as well as you can see right there 9005 all right so same thing it's actually right here under the battery the little bridge that holds the battery so on this way you want to put your hand through this side same thing the little tab press it down and it slides out like that once you do that again to the left carefully pull out so you don't damage it and it comes out put that to the side and this one I recommend first connecting it first before trying to plug it in because it'll be a pain so same thing since they're LS doesn't matter which way you connect it you can hear the clip and then same thing through here and maybe you can see line it up turn to your right There you go. This will be a tight squeeze, but you'll get it in. One thing I want to mention too, when you install these, uh, sometimes due to the O-ring, you might get a little bit of play, but it won't affect anything. It'll As long as it's locked in there, you're good. The water shouldn't go in as well. And compared to this one, this one you can see is perfectly, it's not really budging at all, so it's good. Cool. So again, this will be your low beam and your high beam, all right? So from left to right, we have the low beam. Uh, to your right, we got the high and low beam in the middle, and then you have your low beam and fog lights. These are examples of how they look once you're done. If you have any questions, let us know. Uh, comment us and send us messages and we'll answer as soon as we can. Thanks.